Hey guys, welcome to a new season of A Taste in State College. I'm one of your new hosts, Kyle Rebenauer. And I'm Danielle Dindak, and in this episode, we're going to take you behind the scenes of a Penn State tradition, the Berkey Creamery. Now, the Berkey Creamery is a living legend, not just at Penn State, but in the dairy production and food science industries. And it all started over 150 years ago in 1865. If you want to learn more about the history of the creamery and its production process, we encourage you to sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of Taste of State College. The creamery's ice cream making process actually starts here on the east edge of campus at the dairy complex off Park Avenue. This is the home of Penn State's 225 milking cows. This complex is run by Nadine Houck along with Travis Edwards. It is staffed by nine full-time employees along with 30 Penn State students. Most of our students are in the either pre-vet or animal science curriculum and they're looking to get some experience working with large animals before they either go out and become a large animal veterinarian or work with dairy producers in another capacity. However, we have had students from lot, lots of different majors come out and work here, um, more of just a way of earning money. So we've had English majors. Um, I remember an aerospace engineer uh, that we had working here. So we really get students from all majors working here. As a land-grant institution, agricultural studies have a deep history at Penn State, and the creamery is part of that story. It was created as a way for the university to teach and research dairying, a principle that still continues today. I've worked here about a year. I've been milking cows since I was nine years old at home. I've worked on uh, three different dairy farms. Right now I currently milk 300 cows at home. Uh, I like working here, kind of keeps a little bit of home while I'm at school. That's pretty much the benefit of working here. Since the original barns were built behind the present day Old Main, the creamery's operation has grown substantially. Each milking cow produces 10 gallons of milk a day. For the entire herd, this is about 66,000 gallons of milk a year. Each cow, right now they're averaging around 86 to 87 pounds of milk per cow per day. And that equates to almost 10 gallons. With such a large operation, the cows are no longer milked by hand. Instead, milking machines are used. These machines are able to milk one cow in about six minutes. By hand, this would take a person at least 30 minutes. So the milking process is very regimented. Um, our, our workers, our students, anybody that's going to be milking cows is trained in the same protocol because those, the cows like routine. Um, they need to be calm and relaxed in there while they're milking. The milk is stored in a refrigerated tank on campus for a day. Then is put on a tank truck and makes a 1.5 mile journey to the Berkey Creamery on Curtin Road. Kern Road storefront opened in 1960 to allow customers to try the creamery's then 24 flavors, as well as purchase milk and other dairy products. This location also acts as the primary sales location for the creamery. Other products such as bottled milk, ice cream, cheeses, and yogurts are also made here. Let's go take a look at the ice cream making process. Here, making ice cream is more of a science than anything else. In 1892, Penn State started offering short dairy courses that lasted four or eight weeks. This included classes in ice cream making, the first college courses of the subject in the country. With the creation of the creamery came the creation of the Penn State's Food Science Department in 1975. This department is now one of the nation's most prestigious programs. 
During the early hours of Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, the creamery staff used their tried and true process to make the ice cream. The other ingredients we use in making the ice cream, uh, we use the cream, uh, milk, uh, sugar, corn syrup, solids. Uh, we use a stabilizer. Um, we have a batching room where the, the mix is batched and uh, then it's, uh, when the batch is done, it's pasteurized and homogenized and then we pump it over into uh, mix aging tanks. And we have two 1500 gallon mix aging tanks uh, that we store the ice cream mix in. And here at the creamery, we use a plain unflavored ice cream mix and we draw the mix into a flavor vat uh, flavor vats, that's where we add our liquid flavorings like our vanilla or our peach or uh, strawberry or whatever flavor uh, we're making. Hold up, so what does that mean? Well, pasteurization involves heating the milk to kill any bacteria that may be in it. Homogenization is the mixing of the ice cream mix. This breaks the fat into the mixture and blends it all together smoothly. So what's their secret to making the ice cream so good? Many say it's the time from the cow to the cone. What makes the creamery ice cream so good is we use uh, premium ingredients. We use pure cane sugar, we use corn syrup, solids. Um, you know, we're not using the liquid sugars, liquid uh, corn syrup. It's all done by hand um, and the solids uh, really make the, a, a good ice cream mix. Big names in the ice cream business have come to Penn State to learn the secret to success. Well, the annual class, we have a lot of annual classes uh, that are different um, in the dairy industry, from sanitation classes to pasteurization classes. Um, but the ice cream short course is held every year in January. And there's a lot of individuals and companies that send individuals and their employees throughout the entire world, actually. Uh, to come here and learn how to better make ice cream, how to make it safe, how to make it uh, sanitized, um, and, and basically the, the basic principles around the, the, the chemistry of making ice cream. This class even attracts professionals in the ice cream industry from companies such as Baskin Robbins and Hagen dazs There is no denying that people love the Cramery's ice cream. We sell about about a million cones a year. We can sell during football games probably about 10,000 cones or bowls in, in a three day period. The most popular flavor here at the Creamery is kind of the same way it's been throughout nationally and that's probably the chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Um, but if you're a chocolate fan, you have to try Death by Chocolate. The Creamery offers your basic flavors such as chocolate and vanilla, but is also known for its unique flavors some of their names relating to the Penn State University itself. The most popular of which is Peachy Paterno. Peachy Paterno is probably one of the top 10 uh, most popular flavors. Uh, and it goes up the list as we win football games. The story behind the creation of Peachy Paterno was actually, I believe it was a class project where we were actually looking for to name uh, uh, an ice cream flavor ac after Joe Paterno for his academic contributions and that's how the flavor basically was announced. With over a hundred ice cream flavors, ten frozen yogurts, and six sherbets, the creamery is bound to have a flavor you'll love. We do have bad news for the customers that can't decide on a single flavor. The creamery has a very strict rule about mixing the ice cream. Well, we don't allow people to mix flavors for two reasons. I think the first reason would be um, because we're so busy and at times we're so busy, uh, we try to keep things streamlined and run the customers through the registers and through the checkout as quickly as possible. And if we mix flavors, the students would be going back and forth and uh, it would just create a little bit of chaos. The other reason and the most important reason we don't, and that is because of allergens. We want to make sure that we're not combining any flavors, that, that the scoops might be combined into uh, an, an allergen flavor, uh, or we might not dip a regular flavor with an allergen flavor and then cross-contaminate. You have to be pretty special to get that staff to mix flavors for you. Certain people that were allowed to mix flavors, let's see. 
there's only one person that I know of, and that was President Clinton. And he did it accidentally because he didn't know he wasn't supposed to. And of course, no one at the time was going to say no to, to the President of the United States. But once he found out, he never asked for uh, two flavors ever again at one time. If it is too cold for ice cream, which it generally is in State College, you can still enjoy the Creamery's other products, such as their iced teas, milks, lemonade, cheeses, and yogurts. For those who crave the Creamery products but don't live in State College, don't worry. Ice creams, cheeses, and varieties of other products can be delivered to your home. The Creamery specializes in signs of bliss, from their sweet and smooth ice creams to their savory cheeses. There's a reason lines are long on summer nights and football weekends. No one knows ice cream like the Creamery. We hope you guys enjoy this behind the scene look of this Penn State icon, the Berkey Creamery. I'm Danielle Dindak. And I'm Kyle Rebenauer, and this has been A Taste of State College.